Hello and welcome to USTS, the Ultimate Sports Training Show. I'll be your host for today's show, Bob Lemire. And joining me on today's show is the uh, beautiful and talented <laughs> uh, Brody Gannon from uh, Drake at Basketball. They had a phenomenal year this year, and uh, we're going to talk about that. And some, uh, she's a soccer also. Welcome, Brody. Thank you for having me. Uh, anytime. <laughs> uh, pride of Drake, it is, is uh, as I said to Josh Gagnon, who was Brody's cousin, um, uh, Drake had had a great year. Yeah. A great year for sports, uh, for a small school. Yeah, we like the small school in our division, I think. Oh, yeah. And mm -hmm. the talent that was coming out of there this year. And uh, I guess Brody was, um, um, uh, what, what would you say? The, you said the Elite Eight. Yeah. But your team came and uh, all made, it, made it all the way to the Elite Eight. Yeah. And uh, what, what happened there? Is this we played a really tough team. I mean, right. we don't really have a lot of height on our basketball team, right. which is, you know, kind of an advantage. Right. Um, all those girls were probably starting at like 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, yeah. And I don't know. They were just, they were, they were a really skilled team. Right. They hit every shot that they took pretty much. And what team was this? Oliver Ames. Yeah, and so, uh, how many games do, do you usually play in a year for in, in a? Um, so it depends. Um, usually it's like twenty one, I think, 21. but it just like depends how far you make it into playoffs. So right. I think we played twenty four games, I think. Right, and COVID had nothing to do with stopping anything this no. year. No, thank nice. God, that no. Was, yeah. How about last year? Did you guys play last year? Um, last year I think it was like the season was cut in half. I think right. we only had like ten games. And so you're a junior. Yeah. And you've played since maybe. A freshman? Um, I've, like, you mean, like, for high school? Yeah, for the high school. Yeah, so I, um, in seventh grade, there was a waiver pass saying that middle schoolers could try out for the high school team because we've, like, really, really never had a lot of girls try out for right, basketball. Right. So my um, seventh and eighth grade year, I played on JV, and then freshman year, varsity. Wow. Sophomore year, too, yeah. That's the talent, yeah. <laughs> uh, wow, that's good. And uh, I know DAT was w doing all the games. Mm -hmm. I saw a couple of uh, parts of some of the games. Um, and, boy, everyone I talked to that is uh, that is, um, uh, you know, goes to the games and stuff, you girls were crazy. Yeah. <laughs> the energy, the energy <laughs> that you – and you're a power forward. Yes. And so if, for people in, in the, uh, that, that are listening, what does a power forward do? Um, so they could really do anything. I mean, it's usually one of like a, the bigger girls on the team, not right. really like a guard. Guards are usually small, right, right. quick. Um, power forwards are really going to be in the paint usually. Right, right. Um, playing More against the bigger players. Like a center? Yeah, pretty much. Like it's, it's close to a center. Right. Yeah. And, and, uh. So, so are you like the general of the team, or you no, know, or do you have a general like a Larry Bird that runs the show? <laughs> um, I think our team, like everyone, is everyone. skilled in just like so many different ways. Right. Yeah. But I mean, setting up plays. Do you have like? Um, we have two amazing point guards, Ashley and right. Tati. Yeah. They really call the shots for our teams. And, and so, what do they do? They 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 make a signal. Uh, yeah, just like call it a play or something, yeah. and then just to get us going. Right, yeah. right, right. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, how did you make out scoring this year? I know that you did pretty well. Yeah. You um, were. I had a couple fifteen point games. Wow. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I was trying to reach twenty, but right. yeah, I just yeah. couldn't. I kept on fouling out, which yeah. is usually an issue for me. <laughs> well, that's what I heard because I heard, uh, and and I don't want to. I don't want to be crass, but they some of the people who w talk talk to me that watched all the games, mm -hmm. they're animals out there. <laughs> yeah. They don't stop, and they <laughs> and they're right in your face, and that, that's aggressive basketball. Yeah, that's just uh, how we're taught, honestly. That's pretty just cool. to be crazy from your from your coach. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And how how many years you've been playing basketball? Um, I think since fifth grade, honestly. Right. Yeah, fifth, uh, maybe like fourth grade. Right. Right. I can't remember. That's when you started ago. playing organized. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you put, you always had a basketball net in your uh, in your in your always. yard, yeah, yep. and that helps. Yeah, and and you you come from a real athletic family. Oh my gosh, so it's, athletic, so that crazy, yeah, and that just keeps you going. Yeah. It keeps you going, and you learn. So you're um, uh, you're a junior, mm -hmm. and uh, so next year senior. Yes, and you 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 tell me you lost three people. Yes, key people. Yeah, uh, are they all going to play uh, on college? Or? Um. So one girl um, committed to UMass Boston, Tati. Yep. Um, Cam, she's still undecided. She's 
had colleges reach out to her, right. but she's just still trying to like figure everything out. Right, right. Yeah. Um, Reagan, I don't think she's playing college basketball. Right. Yeah. And um, so you lost three, and what do you think the team is? You got any upcomers that help fill in the void? Or? Um, we got really lucky. We got um some girl she transferred from Riviera, I think. Yeah. Something like that. Right. Uh, she's a sophomore. Yep. She's she's really good, but yeah. um. We definitely do have some talent on the JV team. Right. They just need to become like more disciplined. Right, but right, yeah. I definitely think that we have some some good girls coming up right. from the younger grades. And, and you'll be you'll be like they're all looking up to you. You'll be the senior next <laughs> yeah. year, the old I senior. I can't believe it. Isn't that wild? It's huh? crazy. Yeah, and and you're looking forward to maybe college down the road. College, oh, for sure. College, yeah, for sure. College basketball. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know you. Um, you're scholastically doing well also. Yes. So, oh, that's, what, what are you planning on doing in college? Um, uh, or, or for? So I've flip-flopped so many times. I think I'm kind of leaning more towards like a lawyer or maybe um, maybe a detective, honestly. I don't, I don't really know. Yeah, but that, I've, yeah, that, that I've, type of field. For like the longest time, I wanted to go into the medical field. Yeah. And then... Um, this year, I just kind of, I don't know, I've just kind of switched my mind. I was like, maybe I want to become a lawyer because yeah. I just love to argue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, no, and you gotta, you've got to, you've um, got to, you talk very well. Yeah. Uh, and lawyers, you know, they. You got to, yeah, you got to be gotta, straightforward. Uh, so you, one way or another, law is something that you want to really get yeah, into. Yeah, it just, it really interests me, like everything about it. I love history class. I love all, like, right. you know, just all of that stuff. Right, right. So now um, you, you have schools, you've been kind of looking at it as a junior. Yeah. Uh, what school did you say? Uh, UMass Boston. UMass Boston, that's right. Yeah, uh, and Framingham State. Wow, and uh, and that's just to be good. Wait, wait till next year. Mm, I right. know. I hope I get. And so, how does that process <laughs> work? They come and watch your games, or they hear about you? Um, or? yeah, they can come and watch, especially like this year and like closer to the end of the season right. because we were doing so well. Like okay. we had such a crazy record. Right. Um, schools were. Find, like finding out about our record and coming to our games. Know who's doing what. Yeah, so we we had a good amount of college college coaches at our games. Wow. Yeah, it was <laughs> nerve wracking. So do you know they're coming? Sometimes no. All right. Sometimes yes. And, and if you know they're coming now, you get nervous. Yeah. Because are they coming for a specific person? Or? Yeah. Sometimes, um, like players on our team when they were when they were scouting Tati for right, right, right. Uh, UMass Boston, like she would you know just let us know oh, uh, my. UMass Boston coach yeah. is coming, so I'd, everyone else would kind of be like, "Oh, you know, <laughs> here we go, <laughs> really yeah, gotta, yeah, really yeah. gotta play good." And and it seemed like it worked because it, it catch a guy's yeah, you were yeah, yeah, up. yeah. Oh, that's so good. And um, so what? You you you're all done with the basketball. Mm-hmm. Do you play a summer basketball? You get in on any? Yeah, you so go year round. You practice. Keep oh going. My, yeah, year round. Our coach makes sure we play year round. We do um, a summer league and a fall league. Now, how do you do the fall league if you're playing soccer? Just manage it in there, I guess. We just wow. kind of add it on. <laughs> I know it's crazy. During school. Yeah, during now, school. You don't have a job. I I just got one actually. <laughs> now, school, job, and school college courses. Yep. Which means homework. Mm, yeah. School, job, soccer, yep. and basketball. Mm-hmm. Really? <laughs> I know. It's crazy. <laughs> My mom, like, wishes I would take a break. She's like, just take a break, you know, yeah. one season. I'm like, I can't. Wow. Well, good. That's you. Boy, that's that's fortitude for you. Uh, <laughs> and, and you know what? Uh, when colleges are looking for you, uh, a student mm-hmm. or someone, because they're, they're based on who they can bring in. If they yep. bring in the talent. So if you have that work ethic. Now, going to work is tough, and I know you have you have your own car, mm-hmm. right? So you need money for your gas, and yeah. you know, your, uh, clothes, and yep. you know I know mom and you know they everyone helps out, but of course, um, uh, and you got to get that job. H- how how do you how do you swing it? Oh, uh, I don't I don't know. I mean, or, or just, do you just work for the summer and maybe cool it for the for the yeah, fall? Yeah. So um, during the school year, I definitely do not work. Okay. That's um, I'm working right now just because I'm not playing a spring sport. I'm just going to the gym constantly. Right. Right. Um, but over the summer, I definitely pick up a lot more shifts than I would during the spring. Right. But um, during like during basketball, during soccer, I don't I don't right. work because yeah. I just know there's no way I'm gonna no, fit it in. No. And and the thing is homework. Yeah. <laughs> homework. 
<laughs> well, you know, it's funny, and because uh, I, mean, I played some sports and and uh, and and in high school, and I wasn't. I, I kind of thought I wasn't going to go to college. I already had my plans on what I wanted to do with martial arts, and yeah. uh, so I, I the homework. Don't give me homework. That's what yeah, I used to say. I, you know, I'm, know. I'm, I'm there seven hours a day or <laughs> exactly. whatever. Exactly. I think I'm doing it. Or give me a break period because then you can do your your uh, sports. Yeah. All right? And then you can, um, if you need a little job, you can do it. Mm-hmm. But no, let's give them six more hours of, of homework. Exactly. You know? uh, <laughs> I never, it's, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm old now and I'm still upset with homework. I know. Uh, that, that they would give it that much homework. Some teachers have caught on to it, and they relax a little bit on the homework, but some teachers just really don't care. And, well, some people, some of the teachers, will, and, and I, I love the teachers, and mm-hmm. I love it. It's, it's very hard to teach. I, oh, know. yeah. Um, but they're saying, I'm going to get you ready for college. So they're going to give you that homework, and they're going to make you work. But wait a minute. I'm trying to play some basketball. I'm trying to play some yeah. soccer. Um, so how about soccer? What's going on with soccer? Is that a... Um, we we had a tough season last year, right? Um, just because we play in probably the like toughest toughest conference. Um, what conference is that? I don't like. I don't really know. There's I just so many. There's so there's, many. I know it's yeah, just yeah. so hard to keep track yeah, of everything. Yeah, I wouldn't even. Yeah. But we we play against like big schools like Billerica, North Andover, right, yeah. um, Central Catholic, and we're always the smallest school in our division right, and. Yeah. It's it's just tough to play against those those teams that you know have tryouts and they have cuts and we have tryouts and everyone makes a team right because they have such a wider selection. It's right. just yeah, and, it's definitely and, tough. <laughs> and and they almost recruit. Yeah. Yeah. Like like Central yeah. Catholic, like they they're, they're pretty recruit. much recruiting. Yeah, and so that's for the college. You know, and people are getting the the children ready for the colleges because yeah. they know the the child like yourself is mm-hmm. really good, but um, you, you know. That's why when um, uh, colleges are looking for someone, you know, play basketball like yourself, Mm -hmm. and they see a small school standout and the school's doing well, they know that they've got, because you're you're playing against crazy people. Yeah. Yeah. So when when you shine, look at, she's shining from a small school that, you know. um, And so what about this year for soccer? Yeah, you think? Um, I don't know. I think it's going to be another tough season, but. We we have we have decent talent. I mean, I think we could possibly make it to playoffs, but right. I'm just hoping that everyone puts in the work that is definitely needed. That's what it is. It's a stamina thing. Yeah. Uh, so you but you're constantly going constantly, basketball yeah. and soccer. This just never you never stop. No, never. <laughs> and I know soccer. You just it's it's wild. Yeah, I, yeah. It's what crazy. position in soccer do you play? Uh, center mid. And no, I'm I'm not a soccer guy. Uh, <laughs> what's center mid is is it's you're right smack dab in the middle of the field. You're playing offense and defense. It's you're, almost like a power forward. Yeah, I mean you're you're pretty much doing everything. You're in the middle. And you're <laughs> run, well, that's what I'm saying. You're kind of running the show because you got both yeah. sides, and they're looking for you for the passes. Yeah, like, for sure. Yeah. And uh, and, and you've been playing soccer for how many years now? I've been playing soccer since I was four. Wow. So very very long. No. These schools that already kind of t- talked to you a little, mm-hmm. are they talking to you about soccer and basketball? No, just basketball. Oh, you, yeah. they might get a two-for-one deal. Maybe. Or, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe. Do they know that you play soccer? You don't um, know? I, yeah. When I've gotten, like, some questionnaires from them that I have right. to answer, and I always, like, mention that I play soccer, right. too. So. And see, even if they didn't want you for soccer, mm-hmm. they know if you do play some soccer and uh, off time with basketball, uh, you're going to be in tremendous shape. Yeah. And it's that stamina. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see some some uh, your, uh, teammates or p- people that you play with, they're not in that good shape. Yeah, because it's like just their one sport that they play, and that's it. And they're exhausted. Yep. And you fly. You know, they they might start the game off doing well, mm-hmm. but by the end of the game, you're blown by them because yeah. they don't want to run anymore. They that, they're so <laughs> tired, right? Yeah. That's so cool. And um, uh, yeah. What are you doing for workouts? Like, say you go to the gym. Um, I go with my mom. We do, we do everything. We do cardio. We do kickboxing. She likes kickbox- kickboxing. Right. I don't really like it, right, but, right. um, and we do a lot of weights too. So, and, and the kickboxing, you are doing it. Yeah. But see, you know, what's good for that? I'm, I'm a martial artist. Yeah, so yeah I, I know. You know, I know. I'm gonna, <laughs> but, uh, it, it's going to be good for balance. Yeah. Uh, you, you do, you do stuff, uh, like that so that and when you're on the soccer field or the basketball, 
right? And you got these big girls who want to bang around. Well, there you. are some big girls, oh, for sure. I know. <laughs> but you can have the leverage on them. Yeah. You know, um, it gets pretty physical out there. Huh? Oh, yeah. No one understands that, like the basketball court. Mm -hmm. They say, oh, they're just going back and forth shooting the basket. You get out there, and you watch how rough it gets. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Right? So many parents <laughs> on the sides just, like, screaming, like, oh, you oh, can't yeah. do that. You can't push her. It's a physical game. It's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, they, the parents, are so some of them are crazy. Like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. So I've S seen some, oh, some yeah. weird stuff from the parents. Oh, it's, and it's got, you know, years ago, People got away with whatever they wanted to. Mm -hmm. Now it is, they'll kick you right out. Oh, yeah. I mean, but there's still the parents, and they're driving the kids crazy. I know oh, some my of gosh, them. yeah. The poor child, they're there to have some fun and to have fun with their friends, and there's Dad <laughs> O'Mara up there screaming yep. crazy stuff. Let the refs do their job. Exactly. You now the people get thrown out. I've been, I haven't been to too many games in a, in a while, but mm -hmm. they escort people out, I bet. Oh, yeah, it's happened before. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, and and how about you? You so if you're power forward, you're you're jumping up there. Uh, oh yeah, I'm the up sun. there. <laughs> um, are you are you normal height for that? For um, yeah, I I would say like I'm probably average. So you're not right? small. I'm not small, but I'm not big. Right. Yeah. You get some real big girls, huh? Yeah. 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 What's the tallest girl you think you played against? <sighs> um. I've I've guarded a girl who was six three before, like me, going against her, and I'm looking up at her and I'm like, I don't, I don't know how I'm supposed to do this, but I'll try. <laughs> I don't know how. It was. And so, what do you mean? That now you're both trying to get the ball? Or, yeah, uh, it's, it's and she just says, okay, she's just like, okay, looking uh, down at me. <laughs> okay, yeah, nice try, kid. But now, in in yeah, so so you get some big players like that, but mm -hmm. a smaller person to me would have some moves too. Yeah, where they might be a little lankier. Mm -hmm. Now you're still growing though. Yeah, it could be. What do you think? I think you might have another two inches going on. Maybe your... reach. I'm trying uh, to get five nine. Five trying to get nine. up there. We five eight now. Uh, like five seven and a half probably. That's, that's pretty good yeah. though. That's pretty good because yeah, your mother's a uh, short. She's a peanut. Girl. She's and, like yeah. five three and three yeah. quarters. Yeah, and her <laughs> sister is too. I think uh, kind of smaller. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of good. I mean, um, uh, so if you if you're playing. You're, you're, you're playing center or uh, power forward. Yeah. What's the difference between power forward and center? Um, I would say center is more like restricted inside. Right. And then power forward, you could, I mean, you could go out, shoot the ball. Uh, okay. But like okay. be on the arc. Do you do a, do a lot of three pointers? Yeah. Do you really? Yeah. I heard you're pretty good at them, right? Yeah. Uh, that's, that's big. Yeah. You can drop those three pointers. Uh, <laughs> Uh, did you get any uh, three pointers like right at the end of the game to make? Um, yeah, actually, um, against Chelmsford, it was a crazy game. We yeah. we always we always go at it with Chelmsford, but um, we it was just th this whole game was insane. It was back and forth, back and forth between right. us, and um, we were down. I think it was like twelve in the first quarter, and um, we just we really just. Kind of showed him, okay. showed him who Drake it is, and nice. we yeah. we came back and we pretty much just killed him at the end. And um, we were it was it was pretty close until like the end of the fourth quarter, yeah. and um, I hit a three in the corner. Oh, that hurts. And then yeah, that hurts. <laughs> um, I think Tati had a really good play. Ash hit another three, and it was just they knew the game was over. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, do do you plan the threes, or is it just you you know that you open? And Sometimes. Um, like we have some plays kind of shaped around, like you know, we want to get a three-point shot right, off. Right, right. Sometimes they just kind of happen, and you're open, and you get it, and you're just like, I'm just and, gonna shoot it. And you had a couple of go-to three-pointers. Yeah. You're one of them. Yeah. And who, who you say, Tatia? Tati. Tati. Yeah. She's another one, right? Yeah, she's yeah. she's a phenomenal player. Right. So you get three-pointers, and that boy, that, that takes the the steam right out of the other. Oh, it hurts. And Chelmsford's a big school, right? They're a, they're a great, yeah. They're, they're always big. Yeah, they're they, big. They have a they have a really good team. Yeah. Right. You play against Lowell. Uh, yes. Yeah. So you're playing against a big schools. Mm -hmm. Wow, and that's tough. And I'm surprised they don't put you, you know, down to. I know. Number. Yeah. My coach, my coaches love it though. They love the competition that I think we really deserve. Well, you're the underdogs. Yeah. And being on the underdogs is sure. so much fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's know? so much fun. Uh, 
Cause, because if the if you're not the underdogs and you win, well, you're supposed to win. Yeah. But if you're the underdogs, you have heart. Mm-hmm. It's the heart that are, you're gonna miss your your three buddies that that left you. I I am. You're gonna uh, you keep in touch. Of course. Yeah. Uh, that's the great. See, that's what this show I, I like, uh, especially when I have uh, younger people uh, or, or any any generation. When you're into sports, you you you, you develop a friendship mm-hmm. and a camaraderie with people that you never in the real world because you ha- you're so bonded. Yeah. Right. And you got stories mm-hmm. and craziness that, <laughs> and bus rides yep. and who's the crazy one doing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, and the the thing is now you're uh, you're gonna be a senior, mm-hmm. and you're gonna be the one everyone looks up to. Yeah. And that's just it's a lot of, a lot on your shoulders. Yeah, it is. The coaches must tell you that too. Next oh, year, yeah. uh, who, who else is? Uh, how many seniors get coming back? Uh, we we I think the junior class is the biggest class. It's um. That's good. That I think means it's you got five. Yeah. Five maybe. So I think. You, you've got people who played together for a while oh, now. We've been playing since so like next third year's, grade. Next year's gonna be wild. Yeah. Well, when you play together that much, you know each other's moves. Yeah. You know who's strong, who's weaker, and and then when you're playing against other people, uh, and they're paired up, you know who's gonna be open. Yeah. And who you, who's the weak person on the other side mm-hmm. is. That's just, that's what's great about playing with people for many years. Yeah, teams that have been playing together for a long time, you can definitely tell. Because they just they look so much better on the court, the right. field, or right. you know, yeah. And and do they? Um, does your coach say, "I want you in the gym to, to keep"? Oh you? yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not mandatory, but it's no. But he definitely emphasizes, you know, you can't just because it's you know not the regular season doesn't mean you can take it off. Go to the gym, go for a run, right. just keep just in keep shape. Busy. Yeah. yeah, and you love it anyway. Oh, I yeah, I love yeah. working out. <laughs> well, you know what's nice of it. He, you can eat anything you want if you want. You know, oh you my, eat. yeah. It's a, you All know. the burgers, the pizza. <laughs> yeah, just keep eating, you know. But you're gonna burn it off. Yeah. And and, it, and sometimes you want you say, oh wow, I'm losing weight. I gotta because you're burning off more calories than you can, than can you possibly yeah. eat. Sometimes you just want to eat the good stuff. You're eating good, good. Uh, oh yeah. Good diet. Yeah. Yeah. Very clean. Well, now when you say clean, that's a good word. Clean, clean. diet. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you just said burgers. That ain't clean. <laughs> I have some cheat days here and there, but <laughs> so a lot of a lot of uh, vegetables and fruits. Oh and, yeah. Uh, and yeah, any any kind of drinks or, or uh, you know smoothies, just, smoothies. That, yeah. Yeah. It usually just water, honestly, but smoothies. Yeah, I love waters. protein smoothies. Right. Love those. How about vitamins? You do. You oh do. yeah, I take vitamins every morning. Really. Mm-hmm. And and. Uh, 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 Multiple, or, or um, well, like one multiple, or do you take a, a B with it? Or you, I, don't, I don't know. You just take. I just honestly take whatever my my mom gets. Okay. Those little vitamin like right. gummy things. Right. Yeah. 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 It's the, see, I'm I'm OCD, and when, <laughs> when they say vitamins are good for you, I gotta I gotta take them. Keep take you know. I, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. That's even worse. You can't mm-hmm. do that. So what you're doing is fine. Is if you're doing your vegetables and, and your fruits, if you like that, yeah. uh, you're getting what you're gonna get. You know, yeah. um, and and that's because that gives you the energy. Oh yeah. And uh, I talked to some people, and I, I mean, like I say, I've taken vitamins my whole life, and mm-hmm. I I talk to people who don't take them at all. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I shut up. <laughs> Especially sports people. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. You know, I just want that little edge. Yeah. See. You're always looking for the edge, and you know what the edge is. Mm-hmm. Water, working out, good food, yep. good sleep. How many hours of sleep a night? Eight. Yeah, definitely. You definitely ate. I always come home from school. I take a nap. Right. So, like, prob- I'm probably getting, like, 11 hours of sleep if you count everything, but, right. yeah. Are you the nap before your workout? Is that yes. what you say? Yeah. Yes. How long? Half hour? Uh, yeah, half hour, hour. And it's Usually? the greatest thing. Oh my call yeah. it meditation. You say, I'm going to meditate for a half hour. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But they call it power naps. Yeah. And they're the greatest thing in the world. Mm-hmm. I mean, you you wake up groggy a little bit. You get out of that quick. Yeah. And then by the time you go to the gym or whatever. and I'm, See, my thing is I'm, I'm always, uh, before I go to the gym or before I work out, a uh, half hour before I'll drink a cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now I get you're, that. You're zip. ready to go. <laughs> yeah. And now today with kids, they do the, the sports drink. Yeah. Uh, you know, the... Uh, I don't know the, the caffeine. Sports. Energy drinks or you stuff do like that. No, not really. Yeah, those, those I don't really like them. They don't. No. They don't really do anything for me. No. Yeah. yeah. 
I never did them. Like I said, coffee. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, but then you get hooked. Mm -hmm. And if I try to do a workout w without having my coffee before, I'm like, nope. I'll do it. But I'll be like, oh. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's funny. Um, so uh, you, you're going to get it. You're going to work. Yep. You're still going to play some basketball. Mm hmm and school's done in a couple of another month. Um, yeah, school ends in late June. Late June? Yeah, late June. Was it was it really? Mm -hmm. I thought it was like late May for you guys. Oh, you're a junior. Yeah, seniors. so the seniors, the seniors, it's what? Um, I think it's. It must be. They're good. pretty much like done like end of May, but they're I think their graduation's like the beginning of June. Yeah, yeah. But they're pretty much checked out end of May. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're ready to, yeah. to bang. Um, and you got a car, so that's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Jesus. I didn't <laughs> know that because uh, I, I was wondering how you were going to get here. Yeah. Well, she's driving. I'm like, wow. Oh. <laughs> and uh, it, you, you need money for that car. That's the crazy. Oh, yeah. Gas. Yeah, yeah, I can't gas. even with gas right now. It's oh. so expensive. It should be going down. Uh, I'm hearing good things, but good. we'll see about that. Yeah. And uh, so. Um, and it's funny, let's I say, you come from a, a sports family mm -hmm. that's, I mean, between Josh and your uncles and your, and even your, your mother and your aunts and stuff, uh, everyone's. Everyone, yeah. Everyone's, and that just, it just, and, and now, like your nieces, Melanie and, 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 you know, nieces and cousins, they see you, mm -hmm. and it's just, you, know, you see what, what uh, I mean, Gracie, I always call Gracie, I'm only going but little Gracie, she's nine years old. Yeah. And uh, she looks, she sees you and she just looks up to you. Right? Yeah. That's my, like my, that's my hero. <laughs> and um, it's so much fun when they're in the stands. Yeah, and, I love it. Oh, yeah. And, and crowd's pretty good at Drake It. I yeah, mean, we had some, I think pretty much like all the stands were full at our games usually. Wow. It's, a, it's such a great atmosphere because we didn't have that during COVID. Right, no. So I just, yeah, it's. Yeah. It, it, just it makes the game more fun to play. Gives you that energy, yeah. and uh, especially when you have a good season. Yeah, it's when you don't have a good season. That's, <laughs> that's if we had a bad season and had, had all those fans, then it wouldn't have been as fun. But right, right, and uh, that the fans, um, they they give you the energy. Yeah, for and, sure. And then you give it back to them. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a bang, 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 <laughs> and uh, you know, it's like you, you score a three pointer or two yep. or three, and. People are screaming. You hear your name Cree, being Yeah, Cree. I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's giving me goosebumps right uh, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, and the, so the great thing is you love it so much. Yeah. That's why, this, you know, it's not just you're good and uh, I don't care about it. You love the game. Mm -hmm. And you have a passion, right? Yeah. Uh, imagine live, not having basketball and I not having. Couldn't even. Right? Couldn't even imagine. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, and, and, and as I say again, and I always bring it up because that's what kept me in, in, in martial arts or sports my whole life. The friends. Yeah. The fun we had. And um, it's, it's, it's a bondage you'll have. 50 years from now, you're going to meet a friend. Yep. All right? Uh, at a party. And you're going to sit there and talk Drake at basketball mm -hmm. or Drake at soccer. Yeah. You know? Uh, and, and you're just like, it was yesterday. Yeah. You know? Uh, I forget the rock star glory days remember the, the song glory days yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, bruce springsteen mm -hmm. and that's what that's kind of all about yeah you can never let it go and you meet your buddy yep um and you have favorite friends yeah that uh that you, you, you gotta sit at the bus with and you gotta um mm -hmm. and, you, and they're also you all still go to, to school together yeah but some of them are sophomores freshmen and yeah. uh seniors mm -hmm. and they they kind of separate, right? Yeah. You, you kind of have to, or because different. Um, kind of have classes, to, I guess. Yeah, different, different classes. classes. Yeah. Right. yeah. And any of them that you think will be going to the same college, maybe with you, or do you talk to any of your friends saying, "Ooh." Um. Well, Tati was definitely excited that UMass Boston reached out to me because she's going there. Right. I would yeah. love to play with her again. Oh. I would. I would love it, but definitely gonna wait and see if I get any more um, right. colleges reach out to me. But yeah. And when they reach out to you. Do they mention the scholarship or do they mention? Um, I have, I mean, not when, yet, not yet, but yeah. um, I hope so. They're putting <laughs> out the feelers. Yeah. They're putting out feelers. And then you have your scholastics. Mm -hmm. So you're going to do pretty well. Yeah. You, you plan on doing well. I you're am. Gonna, I've gonna, always done well in school. Like, yeah. 
So Just you're going to be a great lawyer yeah. or a great detective. <laughs> Can you be both? A, a lawyer and detective at the same time, or you just don't have the. I don't know. I have, <laughs> Maybe try that. That seems like a lot. <laughs> I know. Well, so you're the detective, and you now you you have the lawyer. Yeah. And you say, well, you're under arrest. Uh, by the way, uh, <laughs> need a lawyer. <laughs> That's funny. And uh, so, what are they? Somebody told me to ask you something about electives. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I knew my mom was going to tell you this. Well, I asked her about stuff just so oh, I could. I mean, it, what, what is? Well, I understand what elect. You know. You don't, you just, a w not a, is it a waste? <laughs> They're a waste, yeah. yeah. It's just, I, like like you said earlier about um, handling all the homework and stuff, right. having a free period. Right. Um, to do your homework. It's just, it's just taking away from a free period, honestly. I hate them. I come home every day. I complain <laughs> about my last period elective. Um, I, I have probably like nine absences in that class because I always get dismissed that period, right. I just, I, I can't take it. I sit in there and I, I don't do anything. It's just taking away from like, I feel like stuff I could be doing. Right, right, and and so anyone who doesn't understand, I, I say I don't understand what an elective is or what it go. Say, give me any elective. It doesn't have to be the one you don't like, uh, but. Um, film and literature. All right, so that's, they'll do that is, is, you have to take it for a college? You have, you have to take, so like to graduate from Drake High School, you have to have, um, like for example, film and literature, that's a half credit of English. Right. So you have to graduate with four and a half credits. So right. you, you, like no matter what, you have to take an English elective. You, there's like multiple ones you can take. You can take um, horror and supernatural, film and lit. Um, you're, you're watching movies. Like it's, it's just like, I mean like it's a, kind of like a chill period, I guess, but it just, it doesn't make any sense. Why am I going to school to watch movies? <laughs> yeah, and, 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 what's, but do they test you, or, the, or is it, Not you gotta like write, you gotta write? Some, like most electives don't, but um, there are more difficult electives, like psychology I took. That was probably the only elective that I actually maybe liked a little bit. Um, we took tests in that one. Those tests right. were actually pretty hard, but right. the rest of them, I just, they, they don't really matter. Right. But you still have to pass them. We, like, we have to take them no matter what. All right, so they don't care if you take a test. Well, they won't give you a test. They'll just say, you be there. Yeah, you have to sit here and, so many, yeah. you know, watch this movie or do this worksheet for yeah. a 50-minute period. And well, that's and a curriculum, and, and it's been going on for years and years and years. And, and that's what I'm saying. The, the, the courses that you want and that you really are into – they're going to give you a lot of homework, mm -hmm. and you're going to have to go home, and spend. So your whole life is school, and which is that's the way it is. Yeah. In college, they don't care. You don't no. do the work. You get go. You're exactly. paying. You're paying for it. <laughs> you know, uh, but your time, man. I'm telling yeah. you, it, you're exhausted. So tired. <laughs> well, it keeps you out of trouble. It does. If you didn't, keeps me out of trouble. It keeps you out of trouble. <laughs> if you didn't, it'd be hanging around and well, well, no, this you're so busy. Yeah. And. Uh, uh, and and you know that your your all your family is just so happy with that. You know you yeah. you you put you're giving everyone happiness, and you and your body is in great shape, mm -hmm. all right. And uh, colleges will pay for it. They'll pay you, yeah. It, not pay you, but actually it is paying you yeah. to go to their <laughs> college to shine on their court. Yeah. You know, uh, so are you looking for a college that will uh, that uh, is a powerhouse in in basketball, or are you? Yeah, I I I mean, I definitely want to go to a school that has a good program, right. for sure. Right. Um. Yeah. And, uh, and and when they send someone to talk to you, is it a coach or is it? Yeah. Um. It's a coach. It sometimes ranges from like the head coach or the one of the assistant, assistant coaches. coaches right. Yeah. And uh, and they know uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So you're uh, you're really gonna gear up mm -hmm. to be in shape for your seniors. Senior, yeah. Senior. And when does that start? Um, what, like? The, when, what time, what, what month does basketball start? Oh, um, so the real season starts in November, I think. The games, the games start in November, yeah. after football. Yeah, November. Right. And, uh, so all summer you're going to be practicing yeah. and, and, uh, town ball or anything? Um, no, just. Have you done town ball? Uh, it... yeah, when I was younger. Right. And do they have even now for your age town um, ball? No, I don't think so. No, 
No. Yeah, yeah, I just think it's like middle school. Right. So what do you do? Just keep practicing with friends? Yeah. Pick um, up games? Pick oh, up yeah, games. over the summer we go to the, the courts right across my house. Right. Just play pickup games, right. shoot, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Have some fun. And um, what about injuries? What, any injuries this year? Um, Especially going up and, and, and <laughs> trying to get a rebound and yeah, land it on someone's I, ankle. And, I, I hurt my ankle. I, pr- I probably sprained it over um, this season. Right. I, I honestly don't even know how I did it. It just one day started hurting, and then it just hurt worse. The pounding. And the worse pounding, and yeah. worse. And Wow. I just got it taped and call it a day. <laughs> and you, did you keep playing? Yeah, of course. <laughs> what does the coach say when, she, um, when you say? He always he always checks in. And he would be like, you know, just how like how is it? You know, if you need to take a rest, you right. can just kind of know your limits, I guess. Right, because it can always make, it can make it worse. Yeah, and that's the last thing you want. Sometimes you know rest, and it's tough for an athlete. Yeah. An injury is is like a stab in the back. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. And or a cold. Well, now then there was COVID. Uh, you made it through all the, all the COVID and everything, yep. and it never got too sick. And no. Yeah, we kind of watched that. Everyone kind of watched themselves. And yeah. You, you know the distances and whatever, but and then being in good shape, I think, helps a lot in being young. Yeah. Um, but it boy it it, uh, it put a. It, it, it's just terrible for sports. Yeah. And so now it's over and things are coming, you know, hopefully and things are coming back. Mm-hmm. And um, so, and, and, and this is, this is big it, it, injuries. All right. As I was just saying, you, you, you played with the sprained ankle. Mm-hmm. You had to have other injuries and, and played through the injuries. Yeah. Um, and, and my back was always a problem. Yeah. Like it just, it, it always hurts. Um, but I've, our team, like as a whole has had so many injuries, Right, it's crazy. And still did well. Yeah. And it's, it's just, I feel like it's kind of, it's kind of like willpower. Right. Just like, I mean, like right before playoffs, we're just like, we don't, we don't care if we're hurt. Just go. Yeah, just, yeah. just go. Right. Yeah. Because you'll be so happy when you, what's your back? What's, what's, what's the, what's wrong with the back? I don't, I don't even know. How, when just, did that start? Probably freshman year. I, I don't know. It's just, it's always been a problem for me. I've gotten like sports massages before and I don't know. It's just Do never you, enough. And, and you know, uh, did, did, did anyone ever recommend a good uh, chiropractor? Uh, no, I'm actually kind of deathly afraid of chiropractors. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I'm, a, I'm a, a big fan of chiropractors. Yeah. When I was in my late 20s and early 30s and I trained every day. Mm-hmm. When I went home, I could barely walk. And I says, oh, this is the way I'm going to have to live. I'm, I'm 30 years old, 20, and I'm still fighting. And um, I live like that in pain. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, uh, I went to one chiropractor, um, Brian Austin Alt in, in uh, Pelham, and he, he passed away. But uh, In a week, I was cured. Really? He put me right back. Everything was off. The bottom of my spine was off. Oh, put my Put me gosh. back. Now... I kept going and going to him, going to him. Then all of a sudden, I I, uh, I bought one of those inverted machines, mm-hmm. which does kind of chiropractic work on your body itself, and it aligns your spine. Yeah. So, you know, all the pounding you're doing is probably and and how how many inches have you grown probably in the last five years? Oh my gosh. That that's, a lot. <laughs> that'll put a burden on yeah. your back. Yeah. Your body's gonna get adapt. I think to it. I grew like four inches in one yeah, year. Yeah, I time. know. Yeah, <laughs> more than that. I think <laughs> one year I look at you and you're this tall, and then all of a sudden, yeah. I'm like, um, you know what a, a good exercise is, and you try it is, um, uh, you know the the pull up bars yeah. or any kind. Of, you grab it, right, and you just hang, hmm. and you let your body, you, you let your body, um, the, the lower part of your body. It's kind of pulling. Yeah. And what it'll do, and I do, I'll do that almost every day, and I'll hang, and all of a sudden, I'll get a little wow. pop. In I'm gonna back. have to try that then for sure. Hang, and you're not, you might not get a pop, and you might, but you gotta hang for, and it's, it's a good workout. Yeah. You just hang. You don't have to pull up or anything. Just hang and let your lower body, kind of just hang. Yeah. And uh, what it, it does is it stretches your back, mm. and you'll, um, you might get a pop. You might not, but it kind of, you know, when you hang, it's a straight line. Yeah. And you, that's what you want your spine. You don't want your spine to curve. Mm-hmm. Try that. 
I will. Yeah. For sure, I uh, will. Yeah. When, once I got the upside down machine, and I'm talking 20, 20, I didn't go to the chiropractor anymore. I didn't have to. Wow. And that's hanging upside down. Uh -huh. So I would hang upside down until I get the pops. So it's just a little something maybe you're going to get out of this. <laughs> but <laughs> no, do a I'm lot gonna, of, do some back. Try that, yeah. yeah. And, do, and, and Google back exercises for your lower back because you're putting a lot of strain. Yeah. You know? And not only just your uh, basketball, but uh, working out, mm -hmm. you know? And um, when you go to the gym, your local gym, yeah. uh, there's, there's 20 gyms in Drake, isn't there? Yeah, is um, I go to the one like right across the high school. It's like a personal trainer, oh, CK oh. Fitness. Yeah. Okay, I see that all the time, and it's, I, I love it. It there. looks like a small area. It's, but, yeah, it's small, right? but I love it. And and they have all kinds of equipment in there. Yeah. And Wow, I thought it was just personal trainers that might. Yeah, but, um, I feel like it, he, he kind of like started out that way, and he bought like more equipment. Good for stuff. him. Yeah, yeah, I love it there. I yeah. love going and like not having to like think about, oh, like what workouts am I gonna do? Like he has it all planned for you. Nice. Yeah. Well, especially for basketball, is is he pushing you? Oh like yeah, he, he knows what you need for the strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Wow, that's a personal trainer. Yeah. <laughs> and and that's how long you been going there? Um, almost two years, maybe. Wow. It's, yeah. See, that's why the basketball. Yeah. Is, you're getting stronger. <laughs> you feel a difference in your jumping. Oh my! I feel like so much stronger just from going to him. Right. Yeah. And and so like jumping. Yeah. And, and rebounds. Mm -hmm. You're like one of the rebound rebound queens of your team. Yeah. <laughs> Are you really? Yeah. I, I get a good amount per game. You're aggressive. Yeah. And I heard there was another girl. I don't know which it was. Cam. I'm, Definitely Cam. <laughs> My wife Diane watched the game. She goes, Bob, there's this girl. You wouldn't, she would, she'd knock you right over. She is a powerhouse. <laughs> and She's <is> crazy. She <laughs> junior or senior? She's a senior. Oh, she like leaving. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, but that's, you know, that's. Uh, we need those kind of girls. You're going to have to be that girl. girl oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and so what do you do? Like you just, you play rough? Yeah. Pretty much. So you can't follow. You follow a lot. You seem like a yeah. Um, the first playoff game, I had uh, three fouls in the first half, and um, my coach had to sit me going into the um, second half, which I I understood because he didn't want me to get a fourth foul in the third quarter. Right, right. It hurts though. It definitely hurts yeah. to you know watch all the starters go out without you. But um, yeah, I. Last last season, I averaged, um, it was like three, it came out to like three and a half fouls a game. <laughs> you only get five. I know. So uh, it, what, what are you doing that's causing it, the I'm foul? Just, I'm just playing aggressive, honestly. I, are these poor girls flying all over the Yeah, they're going left <laughs> and right. <laughs> <laughs> That's, they want that. Yeah. You know, these coach, these people coming in watching, you go, look at her. She's not scared of <laughs> anyone. And as they say, I got a feeling you might put another inch on. Uh, yeah, still, I hope so. You're still young. Uh, and, uh, boy, that's, and, and then with your personal trainer, you, the muscle. Yeah. So you've got it over. You've, you've kind of got it over uh, girls who don't. Mm -hmm. Some girls won't do any, any uh, muscle training. Yeah. I mean, they say they do, with it, but, uh, those who do are going to have that advantage. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not going to be scared of them. Yeah. Did, uh, do, do they get rough with you? And where? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any, is it like, do you play the same school once a year or, or a couple of times? Um, sometimes twice. It's usually twice. So do you have certain girls who you? Uh, oh, I have certain girls on teams <laughs> that always go after me and I go after them. <laughs> and there's no fights or anything, right? You can't no. fight. On no, I've had some words with some girls before, but yeah, yeah. no, no physical fights. You get fouls for words? Um, you can get a technical yeah. for words. Yeah. I've gotten a technical for pushing someone. Yeah. After the you play. Can only take so and then your coach gets mad saying you got to have control. Is that yeah, what I, I was yelled at on the bench after that. Yeah. But yeah, because that happens. <laughs> oh, it happens because you're so passionate. Yeah, it's you, yeah. It's like all the adrenaline, you know, like right. you kind of just lose like your head. It's like, well, yeah. some schools and or some uh, girls, or or any sport, uh, they, they'll and and you, I don't want to call anybody names, but it's like the Bill Lambeers. I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. Think you know who Bill Lambeer was mm -hmm. with Larry Bird? And he was a goon. So Larry Bird was one of the greatest players in the world, and Bill Lambeer was a goon. Who, you know, wasn't he was there to bang up, 
the good players. Mm -hmm. Like in hockey, they do yeah. that. They're about that. So you must meet girls that say, that, oh, they say, get her. <laughs> Don't let her throw that three-pointer anymore, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And uh, what do they do to, uh, what kind of fouls? What kind of fouls do they, would they do that, uh, or, or that you do, that constantly um, draws a foul? Reaching in or, yeah, or pushing? I, probably sh pushing, shoving, maybe. I'm not really, I'm like sometimes reaching in for the ball to try to steal it. Yeah. Just on, honestly just being aggressive, you know, right. like just playing really tight defense. Tight. Kind right. of that's sometimes what, getting right. a little too close and they'll, they'll call a foul. And that's what your coach wanted. Yeah, he wants us to play aggressive defense. Sometimes the refs will let it slide, which I love when they do. But there's some refs that you put one finger on a girl and they're going to call you. Right. Yeah. And you know who they are. Oh, yeah. Same reps over and over. And, and they got the hottest job in the world. Yeah. <laughs> because when you when any team lose, oh, the refs were terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Always blame it on the refs. You can't blame it on yeah, the refs. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't our fault. We're, we're too good for that. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Um, so that, it, soccer's coming, and um, uh, oh, you, do, you're practicing for the soccer during the summer, or is that uh, yes, your second? Yes, so um, over the summer we do captain's practices, and right. the captains lead them. Right. So I'll be leading them this year because I'm one of the captains uh, out of three. Congratulations. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> nice. Good for you. Yeah. Um, and, and a lot of basketball and soccer together? Yeah. A lot of girls. That, so you, you're with each other, basketball and soccer. Mm -hmm. Boy, that's just nice. Yeah. That is nice. And even the parents start knowing each other. And they, they, oh yeah, all the parents are friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fun. And and to, and I can hear them now in the stands. Yeah. <laughs> with with the poor refs or, or the other girl, the goons on the other team yeah. that are beating up their little girl. Um, and and so um, uh, soccer's worse for injuries. Yeah. I mean, if people never like have gone to a high school game basketball or soccer and just watch soccer on tv they don't know how rough it is yeah until you're there and the elbows you can get away with a lot more in soccer than basketball like tripping and stuff oh and it's good yeah, yeah. <laughs> and because the refs can only be so many places yeah and you know when the refs not looking oh i mean yeah. i don't know i i know you wouldn't do anything like that no but, never. Uh, <laughs> And the poor girl that you don't like and she don't like you. you oh, yeah. There's plenty of those relationships between teams. The whole game. Yep. I remember um, Raymond against uh, Pelham, and that is just a Donnybrook. <laughs> the parents are in the oh, park. Oh, the parents get so involved. It's so <laughs> annoying. In the parking lot fighting each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, it's it's not good for you guys. So. No, it just makes and, us look bad. You know, and you, you tell, well, yeah, you tell them. Calm down. Yeah. Uh, let us play the game. Yeah, it's between the players, not you guys. Do you remember when you were probably what uh, just a little little tyke playing soccer or basketball, and the parents are screaming yep. at their little kid that just wants to have fun with their friends, yep. and all you hear is that, not Brody, <laughs> right? It's like, bah, dad, you know. <laughs> no, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. Get up! <laughs> I swear, some some parents would like some parents want the kids to play more than the kid wants to play. Yeah, they're living their, their child. Yeah, living through their child. Or they think that they've got to push their child so their child becomes great. Yeah. And then, uh, but uh, it, it's in my you know, my son went through the uh, uh, with football at Great Alone. He was just he was good, mm -hmm. Jimmy, and uh, I just watched him, and he had so much fun. He, the his friends in school. You know, you walked the hallways and you had friends. Yeah. You had a group. You didn't care about any other group. There's groups. Yeah. We all there's know groups. groups. And everyone, I mean, that's good. Uh, you As long as you belong to a group. Yeah. But you have a family and it makes school so much more fun. Yeah. You know, uh, than being alone. And there's yeah. a lot of people who are alone and it's sad. Yeah. I, I hate to see, you know, you see it all the time. Yeah. And it'll always go on. And hopefully you can bring them in just as a, mm -hmm. you know, to tell. But then you're sitting there at lunch with all your buddies laughing and stuff, yeah. <laughs> uh, getting ready for the next game. Look, when you have a game at night, do you get really nervous during the day? Do you get nervous? It's, yeah, especially during a especially during a big game. Playoffs. Throughout the, yeah, throughout the school day, everyone's tense. Do you lose sleep the night before? Or no. Um. 
Not usually. It's usually like the next day, beginning like the morning. Right. You're of, thinking about it. Yeah. That's when I start to get a little nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're starting to think about. Yeah. yeah. Especially like during playoffs. Everyone was nervous, you know, the next day, all morning at school. Do you get nervous if they say, it? you know, the game's on the line at the end and they're saying, uh, we want Brody to throw a three-pointer. <laughs> do they do that? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, they, yeah, sometimes, this, like, we have certain plays, like, kind of drawn out for people. But, um, yeah, I've definitely been put in a situation where it kind of depends on depends on me if I, right. I, if I, you know, do the play right and I make right. the shot. Yeah. Yeah. They're that, racking. It's got to be. Yeah. Because now, if you don't get it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's your fault. It's the worst <laughs> feeling ever. <laughs> but if you get it, you know. Yeah. You're a hero. What's your longest shot? Have you, you, I know you do three ponies, but have you ever done a half court shot? Uh, no. No, too no. much. No, yeah, no, not. Yeah. yeah. Can you do, you? do you practice like a half court shot? Just to, at, yeah, at the end of practice. At the end of practice, you know, we all just kind of fool around, throw up half court shots. Yeah. Can you reach? Eyes closed. Yeah. Just. Just kind of chuck it up there. <laughs> like, with YouTube now and reels and all that stuff, you see. A, a kid throwing it from half yeah. foot, winning the thing, and everyone going completely. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Yeah, that, no, I love, I love those videos. Yeah, those are yeah. crazy. Uh, and and the thing is, uh, when 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 they put you in that situation, you get used to it after a while. Yeah. In the beginning, you don't like. I we're gonna, we're gonna set Brody up for that three pointer in the corner. That girl's not following her. You get used to it after yeah. the beginning. You're like, oh, here we go. And those <laughs> nerves will kill you. Yeah, they will. Right. Now, when you lose, say you lost to, in that in the in the Elite Eight, mm -hmm. how does it bother you for days and days and days? It or? hurt, yeah. Um, after that game on the bus ride, there were many tears. Really? Many, yeah. I I, I definitely cried right after the game. Um we 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 were down we were down by like 20 most of yeah. the game we ended up losing by 20 but um yeah. after my coach subbed me out and he put in another girl um that doesn't really play that much cuz there was like a minute left and we knew that we lost so, so he just yeah. put someone else in um it kind of just hit me that you know we lost and it it definitely hurts to lose but that game i was more upset about that was like the last game i would play with the seniors oh yeah yeah well, how do you think they feel? You know. Oh, I couldn't even. I couldn't even imagine. I was bawling my eyes out. They were. Yeah. They were crying. Yeah, and it's all over. Yeah, it's just because you can't imagine playing without them. Because I've been playing with them for so long. Like, you just kind of refer like basketball to them. You're like, oh, you know, I'm gonna see them at practice, and right. it's just, it's just crazy that they're that they're gonna leave. <laughs> that bond. Ugh. And, so and you give nothing for it. Uh, you're getting sad now. It's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> well, that you know what? That's passion. Yeah. And that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I mean, uh, it, it's it, you, you want to be with them so much. Yeah. Um, and that's why, uh, you know, especially like basketball, you, you got a group, not yeah. just one or two. It's a family. It's a whole family. And soccer, the same thing. Football, same. it's a group. And uh, you get your really close friends, but everyone else is still, yeah. Uh, you know, but you got the one or two that are your sisters, yeah. You know, and you get those jokes and you get your know, sleepovers and <laughs> and all that happy stuff, and you you don't want it to come to an end. Yeah. But uh, but then, if you stay in the sport, you're gonna find, you know, a new change or new friends. Yeah. Uh, it's something to look forward to, and it's something to uh, and just keep practicing. Yeah just practice you know people go oh she's so lucky that she's she's uh, got a good athletic body she's so lucky you're not lucky how many yeah. hours how many hours you think you play basketball or how oh, I couldn't even count honestly you know so what many right and yet it's not even work to you it's, yeah no it's just I gotta get better yeah you practice a lot of the three-pointers yeah that's the wild you know years ago that's that's not a, a that's just a fairly new within the last yeah. 30 years or whatever. They didn't have three-pointers. Yeah. And when that came out, it was like, whoa, this is crazy. The game's going to fall apart. Are you kidding me? No, I love them. Oh. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, did they have contests, three-point contests and all that stuff that you guys? Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, at practices, we always do um, little games. Cool. Like, we split up the team in half. Yeah. And um, it's actually pro probably one of my favorite drills. We just do a three-point contest. Right. And whoever loses have to um, they have to run suicides. 
Uh, I don't want to run suicide, so. <laughs> you don't, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, you have a, f a favorite spot on your three-point? Uh, the corner. You like the corner. It's so funny because, like, I've gotten that question before, and yes. I, I say the corner, and they're just like, like, that's the worst spot. Yeah. Like, why would you? It is. It I, is. I don't know. I just, that's, that's my spot. You don't want the backboard. No. I, I mean, I, I never Everybody really, else. I never really use the backboard right. anyway. But right. um, but at I, least it would help. Yeah, the backboard I, I don't know. helps you a little if you're off on it. Yeah, but I mean, the corner is not the. I feel like most people like, um, kind of like a diagonal shot, not right. like a right. straight on, but right. a diagonal. I'm like, no, I like the corner. Straight on. Get me right in the corner. <laughs> so that's that must that's good because a lot of people don't do it. Yeah. And they're not going to be on you. They're mm -hmm. not going to be in your face like. Oh, she won't do it. She'll pass it. Yeah. Right. So that's your strategy, maybe in the back of your mind. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I, I've never heard anybody that loves the corner. Yeah, it's uh, not. It's not really common. No. Now, if you're not going to do the corner and say, uh, and, and say you, you're coming straight on or on, on a diagonal, do, do you use the backboard at all? Or you no. just want the swish. Just want the swish. Yeah. My, it's kind of funny. My whole team, my coaches, whenever someone hits um, a three off the backboard, we say it's the ugliest shot ah. in basketball. <laughs> And it's just, uh, it, it it doesn't look pretty. I don't know. It no, just, the swish is so much better. No, I know, but it's the easy. <laughs> yeah, it's, I know. It's, it's, you know, you hit the the whole back. Yeah. Like, a lot of people, they don't play basketball, they don't realize. But you hit any part of that square, yep. and you have some finesse, it's going to pop right down. Yeah. And that's what that backboard, that, that square is. Uh, oh, jeez. So, uh, <laughs> you, so you practice your drills and dribbling yeah. and uh, between your legs, and yep. you do all that fancy stuff. Like the globe trotters. Yeah. Have you ever seen the globe trotters? Yeah, I've actually I've gone to see them before in like person. Uh, sometimes they come to high schools and stuff and play against the high school. Yeah, no, team. they're they're fun to watch. Oh, they're so funny. And yeah. like I we used to have metal lock lemon and and all these good. And I know they're not there anymore because mm -hmm. they would be in their eighties today. When I was a kid, I'm saying. Yeah. And they would be on Wild World of Sports at least five times, six times a year, and you just watch. I saw them that once down in uh, in Lowell. Yeah. And they're funny. <laughs> and they're good. Yeah. And they're really good. Um, so rebounds. Do, do you practice for rebounds? Uh, how do you practice for um, to be good at rebounds? Just kind of we we practice like getting a getting good stance, getting positioning, muscling you. Yeah. Yeah. And when you jump, you got to watch it. You don't land on someone. Yeah. Because that's that's the thing. That's yeah. where the ankles go. Yeah. You know. Or when someone's up there and they elbow on the face and. Oh yeah, it's happened before. Bloody noses and bloody lips, bloody noses. You black eyes. Oh yeah. <laughs> like it's nothing. And do you have to wear a mouthpiece all the time? Yeah. Uh no. I I don't. I can't I can't breathe with them in. I thought it was mandatory. No, it's not. So I, and I you have like, beautiful teeth. I know. <laughs> Braces for like oh, four God, years, I, I think. I know. I, I tried. I can't. I just can't breathe with them in. Yeah, but you could have them fitted, you know. Yeah, I know. I just, I can't. I just feel I'm like surprised. I would chew it the whole time and it'd be half out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? But ding. <laughs> no. I know. Yeah. That actually, in the, um, the, the playoff game against Oliver Ames, I was elbowed in the mouth and my lips started bleeding. And I was so scared that... She chipped my tooth, and I like ran over to the trainer. I'm like, I'm like, Chris, Chris, yeah. check my tooth. He's like, No, you're good. And I was like, Okay, I'm good to go back in. Was it loose? No. Did you need stitches for your mouth? Or? No. Is it? Um, yeah. I'm a, I'm a I'm a stickler for mouthpieces when it comes to yeah. young people. And if you got nice teeth, yeah, I know. Holy <laughs> macaroni! Because uh, I mean, they you'd better pick if if you do get an elbow and they're on the floor, pick them up and go right to the hospital. Yeah, they'll put it back in. But, it, you know, if you can't let things die, the nerves and whatever. Wow, that's crazy. I'm surprised now. And and they have them that fit. They fit. You wouldn't even know. I know. They're expensive. Yeah. But it, I don't know if insurance is paying for it or whatever. But I had I had a mouth. I always had that. You know, martial arts. I always yep. had the mouth. And I used to buy them in the store for like uh, 30 cents or 50 cents. The big, <laughs> the big. The uh, big ones. The big goofy. <laughs> then all of a sudden I did get a fitted mouthpiece because I had to. Yeah. Put it in. You'd never even know it was in. Yeah. And I just do the top. I wouldn't even do the bottom, mm -hmm. just so that. Yeah. You know, because uh, when they do hit you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Aaron, uh, Aaron, Brody, <laughs> Brody. This is about all the time we had. I could talk to you for. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna have you back. Okay. Um, because you're gonna be a senior next year. Yes. And uh, uh, 
You're going to do well. You guys are going to do well. Yeah. Maybe we'll have you back with one of your friends. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I told Josh that I want him and his buddy or, or uh, Kai. Yeah, uh, Kai. In the, on the show and t- t- tell some stories. Yeah. Let's hear some stories. That's, about that's a group right there, him and Kai. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they're going to room together and stuff. Oh, yeah. my God. But uh, and it, we'll have you back next year. Yeah. Uh, guaranteed. Uh, and we'll, we'll do some more talking. I can't wait. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you for having me. You're welcome.